getting the last warmth of this coffee. Deer. I just had deer right here, 60 yards away, and I moved. I moved to go adjust the strap. Put my coffee down. It's barred hunting. Damn. That happens. I easily could have left the strap, not touched it, but that's what's gonna get you caught sometimes. It's just that strap blowing in the wind. So I should have should have realized it when I was setting up earlier. Beautiful morning so far, nice and cold. High 30s probably. We got a decent wind today. It's supposed to be blowing about 10 miles an hour all day. Back on a big piece of public land. I saw a good buck here going back like uh, four or five days ago. I'm set up on the end of this point right here where I got a valley on my left and a valley on my right. I killed a deer a couple years ago here with my fiance. Really good hunt. Had about 30 deer come run through at the same time. Not looking for 30, just looking for one. Action's been really slow this season. That's why I haven't put out many videos so far this year is because the action's been really slow. So I'm kind of in an old sweet spot where I, I've had some good luck in the past. And so I was just hoping an old, the old honey hole can kind of help bring the spirits back up at the season. I'm not out just chasing a giant this year, I'm, you know, chasing deer in general, just hoping to start getting into some stuff and it's, it's been slow. It's definitely been a difficult one. Had an okay September, but the, the heat in September kept me out of the woods, so that's probably why I had a good September. October started off hot, really hot weather. Got into some bear season, hunted a ton. Very little bear, very little deer. That following week, I hunted a bunch as well. Not much to speak of. All right, well, I got deer moving around already, so it's a good start. Not the start that you want. You don't want to blow a deer out right away, but so windy, high winds today. Should keep the deer active for a bit. I just saw a giant, giant buck, a giant. All these does are still around me. That buck is somewhere right down in here. He's a giant, that was a giant, giant buck. That's a buck I've never seen before. Huge, huge deer. Big ass rack, big body, huge body on him. He's chasing this group of does and he's got a small buck that's working in between them. So I'm hoping he Get them in here and push them around. <laughs> I'm 
gonna do a rattling sequence real quick. That deer just snuck up on me and it was less than 10 yards before I saw it. I just turned my head and looked left and he was staring at me. Couldn't really do anything to like get the camera ready and, you know, video him and stuff, but let him off. Let him go do his thing. Now he's off chasing some deer again. What an incredible morning so far. Had the group of does come through getting chased by those bucks. One was a very big buck, like a really big buck. Didn't come in close at all, stayed out far. Kept on chasing those does, off, off it went. Several other bucks came in behind. Two good bucks, definitely nice bucks I would have shot. And then one small buck, which of course, the smallest one of all, comes within 10 yards twice. Response to the calls and everything. Well, that's how it goes. We'll wait for the next one to come through, hopefully it's a big one. Or a doe, I wouldn't mind a doe right now. That was pretty cool. Young, small one just came trotting in. <sighs> Clearly he was, he was ready. He was ready to ch start chasing after a doe or something, but he just kind of came in, did a hook, got to 30 yards. It just kind of like circled back and went back in the direction it came. But all of those bucks came from the same direction doing the same thing. So if I'm not in it tonight, I'm going to be in it tomorrow or later this week. I'm going to be sitting that same, this same area on the same wind. Pretty great morning so far. It's, uh, it's just a few minutes after 1030. I had, a, I had a bunch of deer this morning come in from my upwind side. It kind of worked parallel. They were like working with the wind this morning, so it was kind of odd, but after that initial group of deer came through, it was four or five does getting chased by three, three nice bucks and one small buck. They wound up moving off, but they all came in from a specific direction. Since then, I've had two more small bucks work the exact same place that they came into the area at. So I'm about to break down my camera equipment here, um, grab my backpack and my bow, and I'm only going to walk about 50 to 100 yards away, and I'm going to get set up in a new ground blind in a new spot. The hope is that wherever these deer are coming in from, I'm going to be able to cut them off. Definitely a lot of deer in the area. I mean, I saw at least a dozen deer today. More than half of them were bucks. Perfect day to be out in the woods, and I feel like this afternoon's going to start to come together again as well. The biggest thing is just spending time out in the woods this time of year. You know, it's early to mid-November. We got November 8th right now. And uh, these deer are just up on their feet. They're chasing. They're doing things they wouldn't normally do the rest of the year. So now's the time. This is the week for it. To use this wind for cover and slip down the edge of this thick stuff right here. Get down there. Right to where I think these bucks are going to cross later in the day. So I just got moved. Back up there is where I was at this morning. It's about 80 yards or 100 yards away from here. And all I'm doing is overlooking that same area that all of these bucks filtered out of this morning. They all came over this little side hill here in front of me and worked off right in front, off to my left, and back behind me. 
my wind is blowing in the direction that these deer ultimately went in the direction of. And at some point, they're going to turn around. They're either going to come back through this way or they're going to loop around and make a big circle. What I'm hoping is that there's more deer, more bucks that are going to be following in behind if there was a hot doe in this group, smelling that hot, hot doe and coming down the line of where all these other bucks chase these does into. really awesome buck that we saw this morning. I mean, just an absolute hammer. Some cool encounters this morning for sure, and it's been a great day. I'm super happy. It's the first like actual ruddy morning that we've had all season. This is one of those spots that I have confidence in from the past, and I sat here this morning and wow. What a morning it's been so far. Hopefully we can get some more of these bucks on video and get them coming by a little bit closer. Not really reacting too much to the calls aside from the smaller deer. The smaller bucks are definitely reacting to the calls, but the bigger mature bucks, they know what they're doing. They understand the process and they're they're chasing those does. That's a shooter right there. She's right there. That was a big buck. That was a big buck. What a morning. Holy crap. It has just been lit up in the woods today. I've had bucks as close as one yard. I just had um, at 11:30. Right now it's 11:50. I just had a group of uh, group of bucks come in trying to pretty much kill a doe by breeding her. It was pretty crazy. Um, they there was about four, maybe five bucks chasing one doe. 
they chased this doe within 10 yards of me and she just bedded down she laid down trying to like avoid them and they all kind of like corralled her and surrounded her and kicked her up and got her to run out of here again and when they did that i had a chance at a really nice buck it's kind of hard to see in the footage the way it kind of like played out but that buck came in he was he was at 10 yards and maybe i could have swung a shot in there so that that buck wound up he gave me the slip got out of here less than 10 yards i don't know how how that happens it doesn't happen often i'm settled in and been doing a couple little grunt calls since they left just trying to trying to see if maybe there's a, a satellite buck that's right here big one big one big one Right. Dropped him. Big buck. Right. Dropped him. Say hi, Mike. What's up, everybody? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. That's the beauty. Everything turns around in like 10 seconds. Your whole season changes. It's because of my father. My father used to hunt this spot pretty religiously. My dad's tree stand was like 40 yards right there, dude. Oh my goodness. What a deer, guys. What a deer. Look at this. A gorgeous rack. Gorgeous deer, gorgeous body. This deer today, what a hunt. I mean, it's to talk about this deer as if I've had recent uh, history with it, I don't. Um, but I have a lot of history with this spot and with this area in particular. 
I've been hunting here as long as I've been able to hunt. This is a piece of public land that my father discovered back in the 80s. And historically, I know where to find these deer. I know where they move through this area. I know how they move through these mountains. And the reason that I know that is because of my father, because of my cousin, because of my uncle who hunted here 20 years ago. I had several big bucks come in today. Only one buck was bigger than this buck. You might not get too much of an idea about how it went down from the video. I waited until about 10.30. I took down all my gear, my camera equipment, grabbed my bow, grabbed all the rest of my stuff, and I moved. I moved only about 100 yards. And that was the best thing that I could have done for the day. That was the best op uh, opportunity for me to go kill a deer, was where all of those hot does were running through, and even all that scent, I got within about 20 yards of where those hot does were earlier in the day. Not 30 minutes later, I see this big buck I see this really big buck walking and he's about 60 to 70 yards away and then he starts to turn like he's walking away from me and after he turns to walk away from me I pulled out my grunt tube which shout out to this grunt tube okay the reason I'm saying shout out to this grunt tube is I am not sponsored at all I don't have any sponsorships nobody says hey I'm gonna send you some of this stuff if you can please put it in your next video well primos Shout out to you. This is the cheapest grunt tube that you can buy, period, hands down. $10.99 at the store. Nothing special about it, all plastic, nothing great. It's not your high end, like, oh, you need to get it because it, it has this, it has a snort wheeze, it has this, that. No, it's a simple grunt tube. That buck is peeling away from me and I start grunting. Really starting to just belt it out at him. I needed to get the volume up because he couldn't hear me. So I really let it loose right at him. And as soon as he stopped, I knew he heard me. I put the grunt tube down, I grabbed my bow, and I got the camera ready. And he came in on a line, came right at me. He got just inside of 20 yards. He did a slight turn to quartering two, and I felt that I had a good shot opportunity, so I decided to take the shot. Unfortunately, it wasn't the best shot. I spined the deer and he dropped right there. I made a quick follow-up shot and this deer expired quickly. What a deer. Hey, thank you so much for watching Gavin's Wild. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this hunt and we'll see you on the next one.